If you have a sick gaming setup but not enough games to even play, definitely check out G2A.com. I can help you guys save tons of money on any game you want. They have great games for a huge discount. Make sure to check the description for the link down below. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 41 of Room Tour Project, the series we show off the best setups. And every week I throw some crazy ones at you to give you guys some ideas. I really dig this episode, have some really awesome ones to show off. So let's kick off episode 41. All right, first up we have a redemption from Retro Mads. He showed off his setup before, but this is an updated look and it's still looking very nice. I'm a big fan of the way this looks. Hopping into his gear, he has an Acer Predator X34 monitor as his primary display for all his gaming. Into his peripherals, he has the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard coupled with the Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse sitting on that Razer Firefly. So definitely got the RGB and Chroma products here glowing and shining strong. His headset is the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pros and for gaming he also has listed the Astro A50s. I'm digging that wooden headphone stand here with the little Stormtrooper pop figure. And now we take a look at his PC. His case is the NZXT Phantom in white. And getting inside, he has the i7-5820K that's sitting on an Asus X99A motherboard. And we have dual GTX 660s in SLI. But overall, I just really love the whole chill look to his setup. He's even got a space behind it here for just hanging out, you know, browsing on the tablet. I'm a big fan of having, you know, those plants just around the setup and in his overall room. I would love to have this as a gaming room. So great job on that. Kicking this episode off strong. We have a lot of good stuff coming. Next up from the man Sharuk here. This setup is just absolutely insane in every way. This is like an ultimate gaming room here. If your PC battle station off to the left, if your entertainment setup with the TV off to the right, and he is just doing everything right. This is so, so nice. Zero cables, everything is clean and organized. And this has to be, I would say, one of my top five favorite gaming setups of all time. I just love everything about it. So shout out to you. This setup is just crazy. I am in awe every time I look at it. Getting into the setup as a whole, you can see those three monitors are mounted, zero cables anywhere, and making this triple monitor setup are three of the Dell Ultra Sharp U2414H monitors. Again, make sure to check the description down below, but they're just aligned perfectly. He has them angled on the side so we can get the best viewing angles. Just a killer setup here even with the monitors. I love the mounting job. Into the rest of his peripherals, he has the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard with custom white keycaps, again to fit in with that nice white and black setup here. His mouse is the Corsair M65 RGB mouse, sitting on a HyperX extended mouse pad here. Uh, you can see he has the colors there changed on his keyboard and mouse, but since he has those RGB capabilities here, he can change it to whatever color he wants to fit in with that neutral colored setup. Moving on now into his PC, the case is the Corsair 780T case, and he has some custom white painted parts on it. Again, aesthetics here is key, so even when it comes to the dedication of just custom painting a case so it fits in with your overall setup, plus one for that. But getting into the specs, he has an Intel 5820K CPU, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator RAM, and two 980Ti's in SLI there. Again, black and white braided cables there. And of course, a great custom water cool job here with that white coolant. Makes it glow and shine with those white LEDs on the inside as well. It accents everything. Not only is it a strong and a beast of a computer, it looks it as well. And if he wants the console game, he can. He's got the Xbox One and the PS4 here on his shelf with a nice white accent sticker on the console itself. Again, bringing out that black and white aesthetic. What didn't he think of? Damn. And he can play those on that nice massive TV he's got here. Mounted LED light strips behind it to make it glow. Not too sure what the model of this TV is here, but it's looking at least like a 42 or possibly 47 inch TV. Very thin bezels. You can just hook it up to there, lounge back, play those games, and 
just overall have a selection of either PC gaming, console gaming, whatever he wants, hang out, watch some Netflix, great setup. And you know, you gotta highlight that. Got a little Stormtrooper action figure there to go along with the white and black theme. I said it before, but everything he's got going here, even down to that white PS4 controller, is gonna highlight his sexy black and white theme. So all together, bringing it back, an absolutely great setup. You can actually see his headphones there on the left side of the desk. Those are the Audio-Technica M30X headphones. But I just love everything about this. The LEDs make everything pop. They add some color to the white and black setup. It is insanely clean. Even his desk is wall mounted, so the mounting job is great. Zero cables anywhere to be found. And you know what? I love this setup so much. I'm going to make my very own Best of Room Tour Project Award. This is the first setup to earn that award. We'll keep it going from here on out as we see fit. But Sharuk, great job with this man. Definitely one of the best I have ever seen. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Now back down to earth, we're going the complete opposite end of the spectrum here with a nice and simple single monitor setup. Very nice and clean though at that. I'm liking the feels of this one. Uh, getting into some of the gear, the monitor is an LG 29 inch ultra wide, the 29UM67. Into the peripherals we have an original Corsair Vengeance K70 with cherry red switches inside. The mouse is Logitech G502 as well as the G602. He has two there, you know, I just want to switch it up just in case on an extended mouse mat in white which is really nice. His headset is the HyperX Cloud 2 with a nice little succulent next to it. Big fan of that as you guys know. But that is a great headset, one of the best for the price that you can pick up. And off to the side, adding to his arsenal if he wants to game with the controller, he's got the Xbox One Lunar White controller sitting there, ready to be used. Now into his PC, of course, got the NZXT H440 in white and black. But as for the specs, we have an i5-4690K CPU, some Corsair H100i GTX liquid cooling, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM, and an EVGA 980Ti hybrid graphics card. Honestly, not too sure why we see that Corsair white case on the bottom left here, but that's alright, we'll disregard that. Altogether, a pretty solid white and black build. And we can't ignore the absolutely solid cable management job here. Uh, good job keeping everything nice and out of sight. But altogether, a really nice setup, like we said, very simple, white and black theme. You got the red Corsair keyboard to kind of highlight that with the LED lights, as well as some art on the wall, so just bring some color and character to the setup. And here we are again, turning that knob right back up to a crazy setup. Three ultra wide monitors with an overhead on top. This one is just nuts. For the monitors, we have two of the Asus PQ278Q ROG Swift monitors with the primary middle monitor being an Acer X34 Predator. That's the 100 Hz 3440 by 1440p monitor with a 39 inch 1080p LG TV on top. Now as for the peripherals, we have a Logitech K810 keyboard in the middle there, a wireless one with the Logitech G502 Proteus Core and the Razer Nostromo on the left side. So we can pretty much use that for his gaming since his Logitech keyboard really isn't meant for that. So great to have the versatility there. And the headphones are the Bear Dynamic T90 powered by the Shit Valhalla Amp and DAC. Now taking a peep at those specs, inside his Fractal Design Refine R4 case in white, he has an Intel i7-4790K, 32 gigs of ballistics RAM, and two Zotac GTX 980s in SLI. Altogether, this setup is just crazy. Those four huge displays, tons of LED lights. This one definitely just uh, pops out at you. And here we have a perfect medium between a crazy setup and a nice and simple one. These I love to include nice and warm, simple, and I love showing off DIY builds because this entire desk he has is a DIY desk. He made it from scratch. He bought the IKEA countertop, went along and made the frame for it to support the desk. Even has a like custom rigged um, IKEA like shelf system unit to be able to support it as well. But I love showing off DIY stuff because it shows just time and dedication into building your very own setup, making it unique and personalized. He even has a little headphone holder underneath 
underneath the desk to support its Audio Technica headphones. Those are the M50Xs in black. Uh, but not like, focusing too much on the gear and stuff, but taking a look at his PC inside the NCXT H440, he has an i7 4790K CPU. 16 gigs of RAM in an EVGA 970 graphics card. A uh, nice white custom water cooling here. Uh, but I just love the look of this desk. The setup overall looks really nice. I'm a huge fan of the wooden texture and color to it. It just has a nice home and warm and cozy feel to it. And again, it being DIY makes it even that much cooler. So great job on this one. All right, guys, that'll do it for episode 41 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed, and before you head out, make sure you check the description. I have pretty much everything listed in this episode that you saw there. So if you checked out a keyboard, it'll be in the description down below, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered for a future episode of Room Tour Project. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, hit that subscribe button. You are not going to want to miss out on any future episodes of Room Tour Project, as well as all the tech reviews I got coming out real soon. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. You want to go do karate in the garage? Yup.